Hey guys, this is Ricardo back on the Watch With Us channel. And we're lucky to have another Rado in for review. This is actually one of their newer models for the 2020 year. It's a new family of watches that they call the True Square. And here we have one of their watches from the True Square Gents line. Interesting thing about this watch is that it is actually made completely of high-tech ceramic. It's a monoblock case, basically meaning the whole case is just one piece. Reason it's called True Square is because Torado, they're going back to their true nature, their older nature, where they used to make a lot of square or rectangular watches. So this kind of harkens back to their roots. If you're interested in terms of the model number for this watch, that number is R270772022. Now that we've got some initial information out of the way on this watch, let's jump into the specs. Now, the watch comes in at 38 millimeters measured from left to right, you have a 48 millimeter lug to lug measured from the bottom here to the top. As for thickness, the watch comes in at 9.6 millimeters. The bracelet is 15 millimeters here, 20 millimeters, and opens up into a butterfly clasp. Now both the butterfly clasp and the case back of the watch are titanium. Your clasp is signed Rado. Now going back to the front of the watch, the watch comes in this beautiful sunburst blue dial. You have your date at three o'clock, Rado at 12, automatic at six. Of course, as with many Rados, you have the logo, spinning logo, also at 12. Inside, you have ticking the ETA C07.611 80 hour power reserve movement. This beats at 21,600 beats per hour. Now, the watch does come with loom. If you look at the hands, you might think that the loom is actually extending throughout the whole hands in terms of the hour and minute hands. However, as you can see here, the loom actually is just located at the tip of the hands and you have some stripes of loom at each index. Crown is not screw down. However, it is signed with that anchor logo that we are so used to with Rado. And that covers it for the specs on this watch. Let's now jump into my thoughts and pricing when it comes to the Rado True Square. Now, I've had the watch for about two to three weeks, and I have to say, overall, I've truly enjoyed wearing the watch. It has this nice, light feel to it. Um, I know a lot of people, they think light and they think that that just means the quality is not there. But when you're dealing with a watch that's made completely of ceramic and with some parts being made in titanium, one has to expect that the watch isn't going to feel heavy on the wrist. Um, it's a nice feeling because if you're buying this watch, one of the main reasons you're buying the watch is because of the material. And that material just really looks great on the wrist. It has this nice brightness to it without being 
blingy or overly polished. That darker material that they use um, in terms of the ceramic, it really helps downplay the watch on the wrist um, so that that watch doesn't seem like it's just really just, it's a sun basically that you're wearing on your wrist. So it's, it's a nice thing to have with this watch. Another thing I really enjoyed with the watch has to be the dial. The dial has this beautiful blue color to it where in many instances you get this dark blue to it, but then as you move the watch around in the light, that sunburst pattern really comes out and you see this nice lighter blue in terms of the dial. Now in terms of downsides, I have to say one of the things um, I didn't enjoy about the watch and it comes back to the material is it's definitely a fingerprint magnet in terms of the material. So I definitely would caution anyone buying this watch. Um, if just think about that before you make a purchase, if you're okay with it and you really, really want to enjoy the material by all means, go ahead, purchase the watch, but just giving you a heads up. Another thing I have to say was kind of a downside has to be sizing the watch. Now, this isn't sizing in terms of there aren't enough smaller links um, for you to be able to get the fit that you're looking for. It's more in terms of being cautious when dealing with the material, which is the ceramic. So I know a lot of us, we use kind of that screw pin remover, um, actually, that reminds me just to let you guys know on the bracelet, this comes in pins and collars. But going back to, we, we like to use that kind of screw pin remover, um, but I know there are a couple of us that actually hammer out pins. Um, definitely, I would have to say, be cautious um, if you're gonna go that route. If you do decide to purchase this watch, and let's say you purchase it through an AD or directly off of Rado's website. Rado's website, they offer the nice feature of being able to size the watch for you. Um, definitely take advantage of that. If you're getting it from an AD, have them size it for you because though the, hard, the material is quite hard on the outside, um, on the inside in terms of, of the material, if you start banging out pins, um, you may chip or crack the material. So it's definitely something that, you know, seeing as the watch is ceramic, I'm not saying you have to be super delicate with it, but definitely be cautious in how you're dealing with the material. It'll save you a lot of hassle. Uh, you, you, you'll, you'll be happy, believe me. So definitely going back to what I said earlier, take advantage of Rado's website and their sizing. Take advantage of your AD, make sure they get the watch size for you um, so you could truly enjoy this material. Now, going to my overall impressions on the watch, I have to say I quite enjoyed the watch. It's it's an interesting, an interesting in a good way feel when you wear this watch. Um, I'm gonna pop this on my wrist so you guys kinda see what I'm talking about. Reminder to anybody watching, my wrist size is seven and a half inches, just so you guys know. At 38 millimeters, some may think that the watch would wear small on my wrist. However, because it's a square case, it actually wears quite well. It, it's just an interesting and just, I have to say kind of cool feeling wearing this watch. Just the full ceramic case, um, just how different it looks depending on the lighting without ever coming off as looking really blingy or really super polished. It's, it's just a great treatment that they did with the watch. And I'm gonna toss a couple pictures in here so you guys kind of see what I'm saying in terms of what was done to create um, this material and create these types of watches the overall experience is just really cool on the wrist. It's it definitely one of those watches that I think would play in a 
bunch of different environments, business, casual. I think this watch would, would just play well. Now getting into pricing, if you are interested in picking up a Rado True Square, especially this gents version, pricing comes in at $2,150. Gonna show the watch a little bit more. But that completes our video review of the Rado True Square. If you guys have any more questions, um, just leave them in the comments, any thoughts. Um, if anyone actually owns one, what do you think about the watch? Definitely drop them in the comments. But I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in to this review of the Rado True Square from their new 2020 collection. I'll see you guys soon.